Yo guys, what is good? It's your favorite Supreme Leader, Cameron Un. And I got Young Doggy right here. Um, but either way, today's video is about um, daily vlogging. So I started daily vlogging uh, this holidays. Um, so I've been going for, this is day 13. I'm not actually filming a vlog today because like I'm kind of drained or whatever. But um... So, I'm, first of all, if you haven't already seen, if you're new to the channel, welcome. How is your day? Um, I stole that from Jay Jones, but uh, <laughs> it doesn't matter. Um, so I've been vlogging on my phone. So I just had my phone. I had this little Ben IQ tripod thing that I bought for sixty dollars, but I found you can buy them online for under twenty. Um, and then I got a little Rode Video Mic Me. So that's the setup that I've been using. So it's very inconspicuous or whatever. It's just your phone. Um, even if you don't have the microphone or the tripod, you can still out your, pull out your phone and do it. I just find it's a lot easier when you do have the tripod and the microphone. The microphone is essential when there is wind. But if there's not that much wind, it doesn't really matter. So that's lucky for you. I'm just using a really bad phone, by the way. It's a Hawaii... Um, something or rather, but I got it for brand new for under two hundred dollars. I can't remember the exact price. I got it at Office Works. Um, so the vlogging setup is very, very, very budget. I am looking to get a decent camera for this and for all my other YouTube videos and everything else. But um, this is what we're stuck with for right now. So you don't have to. You don't need a good camera or whatever as long as the quality is decent. But um. As I said, uh, with this is kind of inconspicuous, but when you're talking to the camera, it is quite strange, okay? Um, if you've seen, I went to the basketball court once and the gym once. When I was at the basketball court and I was actually with my friends and everything, um, that was the second time the video that I filmed a lot of, that was yesterday's vlog. Um, it was fine, right? I just sat it down. I didn't talk to it at all, but um, I just sat it down and recorded us. We played some 44 with some random people. I didn't even say anything. I just put it down and started recording. Um, so it wasn't that bad then, but the time where um, I went the day before that to the basketball courts, uh, I didn't know anyone there. I wasn't going to go and record myself. Um, and when I was in the gym, I wasn't going to be talking to the camera with everyone else there. So, um, there's that. Uh, it's going to be very awkward. But if you can get over that, it should be alright. I find the best content is when you are in those awkward spots. Like, say you're playing basketball, you can talk to yourself or whatever. That's when you're going to find the best content, okay? Um, when you're just like alone or whatever, nothing's happening. That's when generally when you feel most comfortable to start vlogging. So that, that, that's the kind of unfortunate part about it. But um, it is very draining, okay? We're at day 30 and it's kind of like today I was like, bro, like, what am I going to film? Like everything, I've already done my life. My life is too repetitive, okay? Um, it's hard to come up with ideas sometimes. Uh, what was I? I was just going to say something. Yeah, so that's why I got to a video um, where you saw the v 2K VC glitch. I was like, yo, I don't know what I'm going to film today. I was at like 2 o'clock in the afternoon. No, I was at like 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I was like, damn, I only have like 2 minutes of footage. Um, today, I was like, you know what? I'm really not even going to stress myself out over it. And I'm just going to film this video that you're watching right now. Um, okay, something with vlogs that I knew was going to come in when I was about to start filming vlogs, I was like, bro, who cares about my life? Like, no one is gonna care about my life. That's something that you don't hear a lot when you're watching videos like how to start a vlog or whatever. Like, no one cares about your life, so you gotta try and make them care. But what I didn't think about, like, I was, I knew I wasn't gonna get many views, right? I knew I wasn't gonna rank that well in search, which I was, like, wrong about because when I first posted my videos, because I got a channel with 3K subs or whatever, and my videos get a decent amount of watch time, when I post a video, it can rank in search fairly easily, right? Uh, if you're starting a new channel, that's probably not going to happen. But what I didn't think about was that the click-through rate on my vlogs are nowhere close to my gaming videos, my 2K videos. My theory for this is that, um, right, 2K, people, people don't really care about you, right? It's just all about the game. Um, they just want to watch the game. So... Like, for my gaming videos, I was getting 
sometimes I would be getting 20% average click through rates in my top videos. Um, my average click through rate was around 15% around there. Um, but I'd have days on some videos where I could get it up to like 40% with a thousand impressions. So I'd be getting like 300 views on one video in a day or something. Um, if you look at my videos, most of my, like if you look at my social blade, you notice I get like thousands of views a day. Um, most of that is from old videos that just have crazy high click through rates. I didn't notice, so I started posting these videos, I was like a week in, I was like, okay, they're not doing many views, let's see what's happening right here, go into my analytics, and I noticed that the click through rate was on like 5, like 6%, Some what, a couple of videos were down to like 3%, I was like, oh my days, what is happening? So I was like, yo, how do I get higher click through rates on IRL videos, and what I found out is that like, most people are getting under 10% on their vlogs, like on their IRL videos, not just vlogs. Videos like this where I'm talking to people, apparently like the average is like around 10%. So I was like, okay, let me find out. I make the best 2K thumbnails on the planet. But um, no, nah, I'm joking, chill out. Um, So that's something where it's like, like why do I care to click on your video? It's not just why do I care to watch, it's why do I care to click on your video? Um. Which is kind of tough because if they don't even want to click on the video, then you can't really make them care. Uh, so you really just gotta stay consistent and hope that eventually they click on your video and then you can get them to care. Um, for example, right, Peter McKinnon. I I've used to be like all these examples, right? But um, I watched a few of his videos before I started vlogging, and then when I started vlogging, I was like, okay, how do I make my videos better? So I started watching him a bit more. But originally, I just saw his videos. I didn't care about him at all. But then all of a sudden, um, I heard his name mentioned somewhere. They were like, someone else mentioned him. And I was like, yo, let me look up this guy. I watched a few of his videos, and then after I looked him up, I knew exactly who he was. So every time I see one of these videos, I'm clicking on it. So that's something that you can get up there, like, ofi not officially, but like, um, you can get your click-through rate up without increasing your thumbnails as long as you find people that know your videos are good so they don't click on them. Um, so that's some, some information for you guys if you're starting a new um, vlog channel. The gaming videos are a lot easier, so um, yeah, obviously there's a lower, they're easier to make, but not easier to make. Um, they're easier to get views, but your view cap is a lot limited. Like, for example, I'm not gonna, you can't get a million views every single 2K video. Like, that's not gonna happen. No one's get, pulling those numbers. But, you could easily pull like a couple of million views a video as a IRL person. Look at Casey Neistat, Logan Paul, Jake Paul, KSI, etc. Um, the cap is a lot higher because there's more people interested. Okay, something that I forgot to talk about a little bit was how easy the vlogs are to actually make. This is the biggest reason why I started posting these videos, okay? I was like, okay, 2K videos are taking way too much of my time. I gotta play the game for ages, and then I gotta find a good game plays, um, then I gotta go through and edit the video. With the filming vlogs, you're literally just filming what you do. So I can either just sit down like this and talk to the camera for 10 minutes or quickly do something and make a video out of that. Or I can just film random parts of my day and just chuck it in the editing timeline, clip it up, and make a video. Um, now that's kind of boring. Yes, it is. Like. It, it's less boring than trying to find 2K videos and stuff. That was... Okay, when you film... When you're making gaming videos, it's like, um... It'll be fun as long as you find the game really fun. It'll be, like, bearable if you find the game fun. And if you're not finding the game fun, it's gonna be, like, impossible to make videos consistently, okay? You don't have no motivation at all. Um, because they take forever to make but with these videos you can literally chuck everything into the timeline and it's like You can it's bearable like it doesn't take that much time But what you find is actually fun is when you like try new things. So for example Not sure which yeah, it was how to how to blow backgrounds Okay, I actually had a decent amount of fun making that video like playing with all the transitions You can see when I walk young doggy right here. Um that I had like a little transition things or whatever it was like a little you could call it a b-roll sequence but I didn't have any slow motion because I'm filming on a phone um, we don't have those capabilities yet um, 
but I was playing with the transitions. I was trying to make like this whole little sequence look cool. And um, that's kind of fun. I did it in one another video as well. I can't remember which one it was when I was walking Tilly along a path or something. Um, I try to make that look kind of cool. Um, doing things like that can be fun if that's something that you enjoy. Um, but then when the videos, so for example, last video, I felt like I was editing a 2K video because I just had a bunch of um, just us playing basketball, like 1v1s, 2v2s, um, 4v4s, etc. So um, I just had to clip it all up and that was insanely boring because I didn't want to add any transitions to it or anything. So I was just doing like, it was pretty much just like, just mind numbing, just edit, find the good parts, cut out all the bad parts. Um, it gets insanely boring. So in conclusion, these videos are f like vlogs are fairly easy to make. Um, the editing process can be fun. Um, it's gonna be very hard for you to get views if I'm being 100% honest. Unless you're insanely 100% confident that people are going to want to care about your life. Um, and that you can make them as entertaining as possible. Um, you're not gonna get a lot of views at first. I mean, it, it could change when you find a way to get people to care about your life. Um, but they're just easier to film. It's more like, like, what can you do to make them entertaining? Like, you gotta find the process entertaining. But, but for me, I'm just trying to stay consistent on YouTube, try to find, um, things that people like watching, find things that people don't like watching. So that eventually, once I've got a lot of time, I'm out of school or whatever, then I can grind this out hard and try to finesse the system. But, um, I think the main formula, right? Okay, I can't test this or whatever, but, um, the main formula if you want these vlogs to work is you gotta get people to care about you. And to do that, to get a lot of views, to people think you're, for people to think you're funny, do public interviews. Or something like that public interviews and then vlog do like a public interview a week and vlog as well um, as many videos as you can put out because public interviews are funny they don't have high click-through rates if you can find a funny topic if you don't know what they are it's like oh asking random people on the street what is your body count or something like that um, or like uh, what's the freakiest thing you've ever done some like when you can make videos like that um, that's when people don't start caring about you, you can put vlogs on the side. I mean, I kind of want to do something like that, but at the same time, I'm filming with the camera, it's way more awkward than you would ever, ever imagine. Um, so I'm like, not about that life right now. Uh, we might work our way up there one day, uh, especially if you've got someone holding a phone. Um, not even a camera, it's gonna make you, yeah, I don't know. I'm probably overthinking it, but um, you probably don't even need to look legit. You could probably just film your phone. But another problem with doing that is you need something to record the audio because if someone's standing further away, the audio is not gonna be that good in a microphone like this. Uh, there's a lot of things to it. But um, as I was saying, in conclusion, uh, if you don't feel vlogs, don't expect to get that many views at first. Um, especially if you're starting a brand new channel from scratch. Uh, don't expect your click-through ratios to be even slightly good. Uh, what else is there? Um, yeah, the videos aren't that bad to make. I mean, if you can just pick up a camera, record some things around your day and post it, they're actually insanely easy to make. And they're more fun when you're trying new things, um, like try new editing techniques or whatever. That's just my personal experience. Um, and I'm out. See ya. Oh, right, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe.